This is Twit. Can you describe the process of how fiber gets put down between, say, New York sure. and London? Well, first off, the fibers are never just on spools. There's actually a factory, uh, I believe, in Louisiana where they actually manufacture the fiber and the end of the assembly line is actually on the ship. In fact, there's um, not a whole lot of ships available that can do um, big oceans. The last time I um, actually had someone that told that knew about it said there's only four of them in the world that can do enough cable to span an ocean like the Atlantic or Pacific. And so the cable is made and actually spooled into the ship. It's wound in a very special way because as it's paying out the back end of the ship, it has to pay out at a certain speed. Otherwise, the cable will break. Um, so it'll actually pay out. And every um, 80 to 100 kilometers, there's this torpedo-like thing that's molded onto the cable that actually holds the... Um, the repeaters. So there's power going down and, uh, you know, basic physics. Fiber optics doesn't care about uh, high voltage electricity, so it doesn't have any inductance. So you can actually run power with your communications. It runs the repeaters, boosts the signal, and then goes along the way. Now, the old cables like what we're using are more analog. It's, it's like a light pump. So we can't upgrade the speed. The newer um, systems, they don't regenerate by changing it to digital and back again. The new ones actually have uh, real light pumps. So even if you want to go and add more colors of light, it'll actually still repeat it. So you can extend the lifespan of these cables. And keep in mind, these cables are insanely expensive. Most of the time, no one's going to tell you how much they cost. But I actually had a person that designed one and she let let loose that, yeah, there's a cable that goes from one of the northern islands of um, Japan. Yeah, and that's one of the cable ships. Uh, goes from the northern islands of Japan to Alaska. And that was a $4 billion cable. That's billion with a B. Uh, so most transoceanic cables are so expensive that no one country owns them. It's usually a consortium. So the group that I'm working with, we're actually trying to get one that lands in Rhode Island. It's called TAP-10. And we wanted to cut it and wrap it around the Titanic. Unfortunately, the consortium that owns the cable has disbanded. And getting permission to take it over is not possible anymore. So we're waiting on the, the next consortium to retire TAT-11 and see if we can put cameras on the Titanic. It's it's amazing that you could just abandon fiber. That every time I, when I was living in Hawaii and you were talking about these projects that involved abandoned fiber, I'm thinking, I would never abandon fiber. Are you kidding? How how expensive it is to to lay down fiber and you're just giving up on it. But as you said, it requires maintenance, and eventually you get to the point where it's it's actually cheaper to lay down new fiber. At least yeah. at least for you know those transatlantic, mm -hmm. transpacific runs. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now, some of these shorter runs, like across bays and so forth, those are typically picked up because you don't want to have a lot, you know, down there. Uh, and there is a movement to try and get corporations to pick up their old fiber so we don't have all these fiber um, laying around on the ocean floor, degrading and possibly polluting the ocean. Right, right. Uh, when I, I was on a, uh, a cruise uh, over the summer, to celebrate the uh, graduation of, of one of my Joseph brothers. And we actually happened to be right next to the berthing for one of those big ships. So this is one of the, the cable laying ships and the tender for it. Uh, and I, there was all four of them were actually there uh, on the other side of the ship. So it was amazing. I'm thinking this is like a multi-billion dollar fleet. And if you lose this, you actually lose the ability to easily lay fiber and communicate between countries. Uh, it's... Sometimes it's a little strange how fragile our communications uh, ecosystem actually is. Yeah, we're, you're actually looking at double-digit billions in that picture. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Let's go back to that. That's uh, so me doing the old. That's kind of expensive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. a bit. Okay.